Okay, we got the chicken and duck up to here. Bucko was stuck underneath the tub earlier. Bucko, oh, wait, every day, Bucko finds a new way to get stuck somewhere. Bucko is the most interesting duck I've ever seen. <laughs> bucko, Bucko, Bucko. But I put a lot of grass stuff in there for him to eat since they were not really gonna be out here today. I have to go to work soon. And I can't be chasing them all around the yard. Even chickens made appearance in here too. Uh, I think I master said so he can't really escape now. Yesterday, yesterday they ended up escaping, like right after, like maybe, maybe an hour and a half after I did the video. So yeah, they always seem to find a way to outsmart me. We got a chicken egg early today. Not really duck eggs. We haven't been got, we haven't gotten duck eggs in about a week. We went from having so many in the fridge. Now we only have a dozen now. So I'm not too sure it's going. Maybe it's the summer now. But I think they'll pick back up once probably. Probably July, but hopefully I I'm trying to hatch those eggs out from Bucko. Bucko fertilizing the ladies. Bucko's Bucko gotta be careful because I'm choking on next. And those leaves. But at least they're getting their greens now. They love eating all the stuff in there. I don't want them to have that food all day in the coop. I want them to get out and get like, bugs and greens and stuff, especially when they're wandering around. In New York, especially when this floods right here, there's a lot of worms and stuff for them. So we'll probably doing that tomorrow. But yeah, it's supposed to rain. It's supposed to rain a good part of the morning, so I'll probably maybe wake up early and walk around. And when the storms come around, they'll just be walking around. As long as it's not severe, um, they'll stay out here and walk around the yard and stuff. But if it's severe or anything, watches or warning anything. They go back in because I want them getting hit in the head with hail. That would not be a good way to start my Saturday. They don't want any injuries or anyone getting killed. But they seem to be pretty smart though. If it gets really bad, they go underneath the shelter. If they find somewhere under a tree or in bushes to hide out the storm, if it gets, especially if it gets really, really bad. So they're, not, they're not dumb, they're really smart. I think we got some smart ducks and chickens here. Still can't believe we lost one of the chickens. So we are gonna, when I get back from both my vacations in July, Probably by the second week of July, she'll be getting probably a silky and probably another one too. I just want to keep a silky so we can hopefully hatch some eggs out from these guys. If that guy, that girl doesn't feel like hatching eggs out, she did last year a really good job. Not bad for her first time doing it. Got six out of 12 eggs. But I did make some mistakes myself. It should have been a higher number. But oh well, we gotta learn. It was my first time ever having a broody. So we'll have to learn from the mistakes there and hopefully this time around we'll have a better, a better hatch by one of these guys. So. That's what's going on today. Let's be chilling here. You got some. You got finally got some shade growing over from the, the grapes are finally taking over, giving a lot of shade, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's chicken and duck update. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Please make sure you subscribe, like, any questions, comment section below, and make sure you guys share the video too, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.